Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Paul McCaffrey, The Trial Guy. I'm here to talk to you today about uh, a cool new concept that's come up and questions that have arose from our law firm and others about how can I use an iPad in the courtroom to display my documents and my exhibits and my depot clips. Given the popularity of iPads and uh, wireless technology, I think this is going to be something that you're going to see uh, more and more common in the future, so I figured I'd address it in a video. There are a couple key steps along the way that need to happen in order to make this work, but this will allow you to be completely untethered, uh, no need for an adapter and a cable to be running up to a podium or to a switch box. Um, instead, you would be fully wireless, and as you can see, I can go on any of these exhibits I can choose to publish to the jury or I can uh, clear it so nobody can see it, but it allows you the same capabilities as if you were using a laptop or somebody was pulling up the exhibits at a tech table. Um, I guess debatably may or may not be as seamless and quick, but nonetheless still gives you the ability to highlight, call out, um, move around within the document. I can choose to call out a certain area here. I can pull up uh, transcripts, I can pull up depositions. So in order to make this work, the first thing that you do have to have is a wireless router or a router of some kind that can communicate with an Apple TV or some kind of other uh, screen mirroring program or hardware. Uh, in this case, we're going to be using an Apple TV in conjunction with the wireless router. So here we have the Linksys E1200 and the Apple TV will then communicate with the Linksys router and wirelessly we can do AirPlay screen share and the and then we can use the iPad however we see fit. So step number one is setting up the Linksys router or whatever router that you end up using. Um, and I would recommend that you go through that and make sure you have your security settings all in place as well as making it a hidden network. So for all of our, um, pretty much any trial that we go to, we if we set up a network, we set up a hidden network and it's fully secured. So in this instance, I have it set up on a private hidden network. Um, and then you can choose whether or not you want to have the Apple TV uh, wirelessly connect to that hidden network or just hardwire right in. Um, I find that when you're setting it up, it works a little bit better just to hardwire it. Um, may or may not be your choice, but um, whatever you want to do is up to you. So it's my understanding that you have to have the internet hooked up to the Apple TV or to the router feeding the Apple TV um, when you initially do this setup because the Apple TV during its initial setup needs to uh, gather information from the internet and kind of get everything working and talking to each other. If you don't have the internet, I didn't at first, I had a lot of problems. Now there may be a way to do it without having the internet hooked up, but I think the, the best way is to initially set this up outside of a courtroom and uh, make sure that you have the internet. Once you get it all set up, everything talks together just fine. I haven't had the internet hooked up to this network and I've been able to do screen sharing just fine. Um, so step number one is set up your router and then step number two is making sure that your Apple TV, in this case we just got the new 32 gig Apple TV, um, it's a little bit faster than the old one. I'm sure the older generations would work just fine um, but we just went with this one. This is going to be dedicated to when we go to courtrooms. Make sure you set that up and just get it talking to the router. It's a pretty easy step. Apple's very good at making their setup process very easy. And then the third step is just make sure that the iPad connects to the wireless router. So in this case, and if you're not sure how to do it, you can certainly find uh, resources to walk you through connecting to um, Wi-Fi. So once your iPad connects to the hidden network of the wireless router, you will have the ability to do AirPlay. And to do AirPlay, you just swipe up from the bottom of the screen or from the side, depending on landscape or portrait, how you're holding the iPad and you will see a button here, turn off, I'm going to turn it off right now, um, and now it's, now it's not mirroring the iPad, but if I swipe up from the bottom and select AirPlay Mirroring, it's going to look for the Apple TV, it's going to find it on that network, and I just click it, and just like that, I will have AirPlay instantly. To take it a step further, what you're going to want to do is whatever program that you're going to use to show your exhibits, you're going to need to download and make sure that you have those ready to go and fully loaded with your exhibits. That's a whole other topic. Um, 
and I can address that at a later time. So for this, we're gonna use trial director in a box. It's this blue icon on the screen and on the iPad. Uh, once I click that, uh, it's gonna say start director for our iPad or start trial director for iPad. I'm just gonna go into a sample case uh, so I don't show any confidential documents or anything of the like. On the left hand side, you can scroll through and in the sample case you have backgrounds, brochures, etc. You can click on any one of these Let's just say we click brochures, and then you get some uh, additional within that document. We have some pages within brochures, and I'm just going to click on the first one, and you'll see right here uh, we have an, it's one of nine, so it's nine pages long. We could use the scroll bar and actually scroll to different pages, um, and that's, to my knowledge, the easiest way and pretty much the only way to go to multiple pages. So let's go back to page number one, and let's say we're ready to publish that, and we have, uh, whether it's a jury or a bench trial, we get permission to publish it, and we click up here on the top, show, and just like that, it's gonna show up on the screen. So again, you know, no, no cables, no wires, uh, we're just fully wireless to, uh, to the TV. And if you had a courtroom set up with multiple screens, this would be a really easy setup, and we've done it before, where we just send it out to all the screens, because once it hits, the Apple TV would send that to a switcher and then a splitter, basically, and we would send that out uh, across the entire courtroom. So these, this not only would be just on this little TV, it would obviously be on all the, all the screens within the courtroom. Um, you can also do videos as well. And if you had deposition video clips, you could load them into your iPad. And let's just take this surveillance footage, for example. I can click on play. And you'll notice that it plays on the TV, not necessarily on the iPad, um, because it's using the external monitor or monitors in a courtroom as the display point. And, and there you have it. So that's the basics of using an iPad and trial director for iPad in a courtroom, and this is essentially what you would need to make it work. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe, and let me know if you got questions. Again, I'm Paul McCaffrey, The Trial Guy. Thanks. Thanks for watching. 